Hey guys, so I, as I've mentioned before in other videos, everything you see here in this clip will be listed down below in the description box, why I drink it, what the benefits are, and so on. I'm going to have some rice cakes and organic sea salt, brown rice cakes, and they're non-GMO, gluten-free, half a banana, some of these organic apples, and I've showed you guys this before. It's the naturally more uh, roasted almond butter with the probiotics and flax. It is so good. As you can see here in the picture, um, I think I just used about half a banana on the one rice cake. Like half of half of a banana. And obviously just a couple slices with the apples on the other. This has kind of become like my new crack in a way. Like I'm really eating rice cakes with a bunch of different things on it lately so this is so my thing. Trader Joe's Riced Cauliflower with the Gardein Classic Meatless Meat Meatballs. Um, yeah they're just vegan meatballs with non-GMO soybeans, some organic red potatoes. I used one and a half red potatoes. I used three meatballs, half the package of that then I'm going to throw in um, Trader Joe's organic tomato low-fat marinara, garlic powder, pepper, and that organic olive oil spray that I have been using that I got at Target. That's no propellants, no CFCs, no additives. Throw this together and make a bowl. You guys, I can't even with this bowl. Like, seriously? It is one of the most delicious, filling satisfying <laughs> things I think I have eaten in a very long time. I've had these meatballs before, vegan meatballs, and honestly to me they're one of the best meat substitutes, I guess you could call them, because they truly taste like, I mean I haven't had meat in a long time, but I, I've had like chicken meatballs and turkey meatballs. They're, these are so good. Honestly, I eat this bowl combination quite a bit now. Like I said, it is very, very filling. Anyhow, it's really freaking good. Try it out. Trader Joe's Harvest Hodge Podge Vegetable Mix. And it's just a medley of all different kinds of vegetables. I, I used half the package and what comes in the medley is what you see there, broccoli, carrots, red peppers, onion strips, sugar, snap peas, Sliced mushrooms, baby cut corn, water chestnuts, which I freaking love water chestnuts. And I just threw those into my skillet. I sprayed the organic uh, extra virgin olive oil that I got at Target. It's the no additives, no propellants, no CFCs. It's just plain old extra virgin olive oil and calorie free. So I sprayed that into my skillet, threw in half of this bag. Um, also tossed in one of these organic zucchini squash. Um, I had it in another package, but I'm just showing you this package, but I only tossed in one of them. I sprinkled some garlic powder, Himalayan pink salt, and black pepper in the skillet and just cooked it up. And then after that, threw this tortilla on the skillet, warmed that up, and I'm just tearing off pieces of like the tortilla with the vegetables, kind of like making like little tacos out of each piece. I've made this before and it's really good and it's so <laughs> low calorie and really low in everything. And I love these Rudy's tortillas. Um, they're dairy free, nut free, gluten free. Produced and distributed by Rudy's Organic Bakery. So I really love this place, they're pretty awesome. So that is going to be my meal. Ooh, that is sizzling. Smells <laughs> so good. So freaking, freaking good. I also dolloped a tiny bit of this pesto veganaise on top of it. It's just basically vegan pesto. It's non GMO, soy free, gluten free. It's by Follow Your Heart. Obviously, you can read. I love this stuff, it's so good. I have, was always a huge pesto fan. So it's awesome when you can find a really good vegan pesto. Another masterpiece. <laughs> this is actually, again, it probably doesn't look like a whole lot, or you guys are probably just thinking, huh? But it's really flavorful. It's filling. It's delicious. 
it's just veggies and that pesto veganese is so freaking good you can make your own vegan pesto at home and I've done so um, but this is just an easy may hey, pick it up and use it and you can use that pesto veganese for veganese veganese whatever but this was good like I said I just you can use one or two tortillas I just take off little pieces of the tortilla and I'll just you know, throw some veggies on and eat them like little bite-sized tacos in a way. And it's just really good and very fulfilling. And sometimes I don't even need the tortilla. I just eat a huge plate of veggies with that pesto. And it is so friggin' good. So anyhow, guys, that's it. I don't have a snack in this video for no other reason than I just didn't snack this day. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm just actually showing you guys what I do eat. I don't make it up and plan oh gosh I should have a snack in here somewhere but this was just a day in how I ate and this day I didn't have a snack and that's it I hope you guys are having a great day please be kind to each other always excuse my voice <laughs> it's early in the morning recording this so that's it I love you guys and I will see you in another video soon bye